Hey guys, yesterday in my solo spoils video, I mentioned that I might make a video on how to get all four secret chests in Vault of Glass from the Post Templar checkpoint. Today, I'll show you how to do that because I saw some interest in the comments. So where I'm currently standing is where you'll land when you get to Post Templar. Um, if you got loaded in from a bot and you wanna save the checkpoint, uh, I showed how to do that in the video. Um, you just run down there until you hit the next load zone. Um, but I'm going to turn around. What I'd recommend bringing with you is an Egredge Sword and Strand. If you're on Hunter, uh, if they're on Stompies, it helps you jump a bit higher, run a bit faster. Um, and uh, the Strand Grapples will help you get up the mountain up here. So uh, I'm just gonna fast forward through this, just follow along. All right, so we made it to the next load zone. Uh, we're gonna keep going up to the first secret chest, but we're gonna come back down here. So remember this spot. This is our first chest. And while I'm here, I'll mention that if you are doing this with a friend, um, you can have one person wait in this load zone up here. Uh, just have them wait in this area. And you can change characters to your other characters and you'll load in up here. So you don't need to do that climb every time. Um, so what you can do is you can wait up here, uh, grab the chest on this character and let your friend change to their other two characters. Um, and they can grab this one, run down to the next chest and leave and then do that again uh, until they finish their characters and then they can wait here for you to do that all right so from here i'm just gonna start running down i might skip some parts uh because it's just kind of running down the tunnel there's no you can't really take a wrong turn just don't go down there um just make sure you go down this way i'm gonna skip down to that part that i showed you earlier all right so we're back here um now we just run off the edge and jump into this little hole I'm gonna fast forward to the next chest. So after you've grabbed this chest on all of your characters, um, if you are partnering with a friend, this is where you would leave and change characters and spawn back up at the top. Um, but if you're doing this solo, just follow me back down through to the Confluxes Oracle Templar area. Quick note, at this point, um, if you're on a hunter and you want to use Invis in the Gorgon Maze, uh, throw on Graviton Forfeit and Void just about now, so by the time you get down there, your, your abilities have charged. One more note, uh, put on a Sniper. That'll make it really easy to shoot the Oracles. Uh, if you got Praetiths from the chest, just throw that one on. All right, so this is the Gorgon Maze. Um, I'm looking down at the spawn area. Um, there are three oracles that we need to shoot in here. Um, I will show you the path that I use. You do not have to use this path, um, but this is just the path that works for me. So the easiest way to follow along might be to just wipe and follow my lead. Um, so this resets the Gorgon's patterns to the same. If you shoot at all, uh, it will change the Gorgon's pattern. So just follow what I'm doing. Run up this rock. When you make it to the top of this rock, you're going to want to jump along the ceiling and land up here. And you can jump again and land high on this rock. And the first oracle is behind you. Shoot that. That will disturb the Gorgon's a little bit. Um, if you're not really sure about how to work with Gorgons, just wait until they settle down. 
Um, if you are sure, uh, you can just make yourself invis and start running by them. Once you get to this red area, look up. And that's the next oracle. You can just invis past the gorgons. And you're, you're going to want to look for this big uh, leaning pillar. This is, this is kind of to the right of the spawn area. I'll maybe point it out on the map in, the, in editing. And at the top of this is the last oracle. And all you have to do is go invis. Or you can just run past the gorgons if you're on any other class. And this is the third secret chest. If you want, you can rally here for more sword ammo. Um, I'd recommend throwing back on to strand for the grapples for the next part. Um, if you want and need invis to make it through the gorgon maze, keep invis on, um, but I don't. I'll show you how to make it without. So I like to wipe here just to reset the gorgons back to default. And I'll show you the fastest way through the maze. Before I show you how to exit the maze, I might as well show you how to get to the secret chest from spawn. So you take a right and you just kind of hug the wall to the right. Um, there's some gorgons nearby. You just run past them. And this is the secret chest. So if you're changing characters, that's the path you would take. So there are two ways that I like to get through the maze. First way is what some people call the chad strat you just kind of run against the wall the other way is to run up that rock there like i showed you to get to that first oracle but this is what people call the chad strat you just kind of run straight through and we're through the gorgon maze If you're not confident in that part, you can just make yourself invis and run along that wall. Um, but uh, you can throw on strand or stasis and shatter skate. Um, but if you want strand, uh, what I would do is sort out, grapple, And this is the final chest. If you're going to be swapping with friends, you want to make sure that you hit the gatekeeper's checkpoint and that will make your friends spawn down here so they don't need to uh, cross the chasm every time. Um, so just make sure that you hit the gatekeeper checkpoint and then everybody will spawn down here. Um, so that's all I've got for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like, and I would really appreciate it if you drop a subscription. Thanks for watching.